Hello guys and welcome to another eye crafting video. Today we're crafting Rogai. So let's begin. Before we begin video, be sure to check out our host Berrybyte. They are a very reputable and very good host. And let's begin. So let's begin with the basics. You need a slime ball, which you get from slime, or by looting any structures in the world. There's plenty of slime balls going on, so don't be scared, you'll find them. The banana. How do you get the banana? You get it by going to jungle and breaking jungle leaves. Yeah, the harder part will be finding the jungle than breaking the leaves. Then we have a bottle of enchanting, so you can go and loot the structures all around the world for the bottle of enchanting, or you can use my solution. Villager? Alright. Now it is fixed. Alchemist villager? You get a bottle of enchanting. Or by killing the mobs. But I prefer... Oh, it's not alchemist, it's cleric. But the point still stands. For 3 emeralds, you get a bottle of enchanting at level 5. And those guys are not hard to level up, because, you know, zombie flesh is around a lot, a redstone is easy to get. I mean, everything he sells, you're gonna need at some point in the game. Now, this gives hood. This item is 100% RNG. But don't be scared, a lot of mobs got it on them. Usually the skeletons wear it at night, and when you kill them, if I'm not wrong, it's a 100% chance to drop, so basically it's a matter of time when you get it rather than how you get it. Now, oops, my favorite part is Glowberry Custard. Now this is a food item and it requires a stove and cooking pot. And you might be wondering, oh, stove, yeah. You can make a basic cobblestone stone, stove with iron ingots, cobblestone, any logs, and a campfire. Or if you prefer to be fancy, you can do any of those. Like sandstone, stove, 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 quartz stove, nether, nether brick stove, mud stove, and brick stove, and so on. I think there's a few more, but I included those just for showcase. And then the pot is made with iron, two bricks, one wooden shovel and a water bucket. And when, when you get those two items, you place pot on the cooking stove, this time quartz stove. And what else then you do? You need glowberry custard which is crafted with those items here. You take them out and you go to your cooking pot, put all of those items over here and it should start cooking. And then you need a glass bottle to bottle your food. Now you can use any egg and any milk options because I saw there are bottle of milk and there are turtle eggs and whatnot. So you can use any eggs instead of normal stuff, whatever you have. And as you can see, we can't click it out. It says served on glass bottle. So what we need to do is place glass bottle in where the, 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 the bowl icon is and voila. We got Glowberry Custard. Yummy. The next thing is a bit trickier because it requires you to kill a mutant creeper. Now, how do you get mutant creeper to spawn and destroy your house, world and everything? Because they're really annoying to fight. Well, you have two options. You can throw on a creeper, compound Z, which will transfer them into a mutated version, or you can just wait for the night time and the mutated creature will spawn. The good thing about mutated creatures is that they are passive to you. I mean, they are hostile if you hit them. Because some, uh, some mutated creatures are destructive, as for example the mutated creeper, which would be bad if, you know, he targeted you near your base. He would make a little bit of mess. And then when you kill them, or kill him, you get a creeper shard. Wow. Eye of Ender. You can use any of those eh, those pearls with blaze powder to get an Eye of Ender. Potted Flutter. Now, what the hell is Flutter, you might be asking? Well, let me show you. 
a flutter is a really small annoying mob you're gonna need to go and find in glowberry case and it looks like this and as you can see you can't really pick him up what you need to do is get some flowers and once you get some flowers as you can see you need to tame him but this little guy oh we don't want to say a day and rain this little guy doesn't like the same flowers so you need to bring more kinds of flowers to satisfy this little guy and we used five different flowers he's still not oh he's ours okay i take my words back either way once you tame him as you can see on the top of my screen owner me you can pick him up or pot him up and then yeah he's in a pot and yeah to pick him up uh you just shift right click on him and you will get him in your inventory now again he is really tricky to find because he's really small and uh, when you find them you need to have a lot of flowers on your hand so i guess keep your flowers with you and once you got all of that you know what to do next you go to your chest take all of the items out of the chest slowly and then you just shift right click them into a crafting table like so and voila you got your rogue eye yeah baby so yeah we got this visual obstruction on our head 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 sometimes i forgot how to speak but yeah that was our last eye of the easy eyes so with that said you know what to do share like subscribe do whatever you do best stay awesome is the most important thing and see you guys next time bye